Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me just to give you a life update on what's been going on since I haven't been uploading videos um, lately. Um, my life has been a little crazy um, but I'm hoping to get back into the swing of things and creating more content for you guys. Also if you are new here my name is Gloria and I post random videos on here like makeup, sometimes some cocktails, snack crate with my kids, um, and sometimes cooking. I haven't really gotten a chance to really do too much of that with my crazy schedule, but um, I don't know, sometimes arts and crafts. Randoms. Anyways, um, so today I'm just going to get ready. As you can see, I don't have a background today. This is actually my room. This is normally where I record. Um, I usually have like a little backdrop behind me. I'm very limited in space, but since I was on a cleaning binge, um, I decided I'm not going to do a backdrop today so you can see my nice clean room. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I did do my eyebrows today, um, so we'll go ahead and get with it. So I'm going to prime my face. Today I'm just going to use the Too Faced Hangover Primer. And so as you can see, I have chopped off my hair. Um, and the reason why I did that is because, I think it was last year, sometime last year, I decided to do like an ombre burgundy and the lady that I went with totally messed up my hair did not do what I asked her to do I showed her pictures and all she ended up doing was frying my hair and instead of doing a burgundy look like I asked she made it look orange like hot orange um, and it totally messed up my hair um, so I had to go get it fixed by my cousin who did an amazing job but at the end of the day the damage was already done and my hair just looked horrible especially when I would straighten it um, it just looked really like dry and damaged I got really bad split ends a lot of breakage so just recently I chopped it off and now I'm trying to do the curly girl method I don't know if you're familiar with that um, but it is a whole lifestyle on how to get your natural curl back um, and it is definitely a process. I just started doing this. Um, I am not like 100% like doing all the steps just yet. Um, baby steps is where I'm starting. Um, so if you want to see that journey and what products I am using, um, let me know. I can start vlogging. I do plan on taking pictures of my hair just for progress. So if that is something that you are interested in watching, um, definitely let me know down below. Um, I'm going to go in with MAC and C20. Um, but yeah, that is one of the things that I decided I want to start doing um, using less heat. Um, I did notice that I was starting to have, I already have dry itchy scalp, but it was getting worse. Um, and I know a lot of it has to do with the products that I use in my hair. Um, and the weather so that is definitely something I want to fix I'm getting a lot of breakouts and I don't know if it's just stress or what or my birth control could be so I'm just gonna tap a little bit of this fit me fit me plus in 230 which is a little bit darker just to kind of cover my breakouts a lot of people go in with a lighter concealer and all you're doing is um, bringing to light those um, breakouts instead of covering it up so I don't want those to show go over it with my foundation yeah, just recently to um, these past few days um, my little one and oh, that's not a gross 
my other one and um, my honey all got the flu and I've been trying to avoid it. I did get a little bit of a chest cold and I'm hoping that that's where it stays because I do feel a little icky today too but fingers crossed that it doesn't turn into anything more. And I'm just getting ready really quick because we have to run some errands so I can't stay on here too long. But I definitely wanted to get back into the groove of things and try to create more content because I really do miss creating videos but with my crazy life it's been really hard. And so the things that have made it kind of crazy is that when I first started my channel I was actually working part-time and going to school. I was trying to um, get my prereqs done so that I can go into the nursing program because I do work in the medical field and it's definitely something that you know was my passion. This still is but um, due to certain circumstances I had to kind of go back to working full time um, and in doing so because I needed the extra cash I was picking up extra shifts at my current job and so long story short I let my boss and the COO know just kind of had a little talk with them and let them know my situation and what my plan was and just kind of my advice to them and that ended up landing me with the promotion and a full-time job at the current place that I was working at which was nice um, because I didn't really have to leave. I'm gonna use the, I've never tried this concealer, this is the first time I use it. It's the Makeup Revolution um, Conceal and Correct in the shade Banana. So I'm hoping it's not too light. But yeah, so I've been working a lot. Um, sometimes I don't get home until like six, almost 5.36, depending. I come home really tired sometimes. Um, so that's why I haven't been posting a lot, but I just need to get back into some form of a routine. Um, and then with that, also my little one got sick, and then Mike got sick, and then the holidays too, that was kind of hard, um, you know, dealing with the holiday stress. Um, then our dog ate one of our snack crates, so that took away from one of our videos. I've also been trying not to cake so much concealer under my eyes, um, because as I get older, I notice that that doesn't really help. So all I'm doing is weighing down my under eyes and we don't want more wrinkles. So I've just been doing the two drops. If, if you are not familiar with Robert Welsh, I recommend you watching his videos because I normally do the Instagram basics of makeup, or not the Instagrams, the YouTube basics of makeup. And um, he actually shows you what you shouldn't do, which is nice. So I've learned a lot from his videos. Now I'm gonna go in with Soft Ochre uh, Paint Pot by MAC. I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. And let me know what you like better without a backdrop. Do you like that or do you prefer a backdrop? Is it darker in here without the backdrop? It is kind of gloomy today too, so that doesn't really help. I'm just gonna smooth out my base. So I don't feel like I got a lot of coverage with that concealer. I'm gonna put on a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape in the color light neutral. Only right here where it's dark. And I don't wanna put it too much under the lid because I don't want it to crease. 
I'm going to go ahead and set with the Anastasia Banana Powder. I'm not going to set too much because my skin has been very dry with this weather. So I'm just going to put a tiny amount. I'm going to dust off the rest on my hand because um, I don't want it to be too heavy. I just want to seal in that concealer. I'm just running errands today so I'm not trying to get all fancy. And I'm going to put some on my forehead because they tend to get oily there and on the side of my nose and that's it. For eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with this Pure Palette. Um, it is the, I can't even say that, Soiree Diaries, Soiree, Soiree. This one actually came in one of our BoxyCharm boxes from a long time ago. So I'm going to go in with this color. I just got a new tripod, so I'm trying it out today for the first time. Um, so I, I don't have my camera zoomed in, so I don't know if this setup is way too close to my face or if you guys prefer it that way, um, let me know. I'm gonna go in with splurge. I'm gonna go in with Stunner. Sorry, the lighting is really dark in here. But yeah, about work. Um, so now that I have my promotion and everything, I've been working full time for a few months now. And then, um, you know, things are happening all of a sudden within the company this past week. So my plan B, because I always feel it's important to have a plan B in case things don't, you know, go according to the way, you know, you plan things and I've always been that way. Not that I am trying to be negative, but it's always good to have a plan. But um, my plan B is if my current position doesn't work out the way I thought it was going to be, um, I am debating on going back to school, um, but this time uh, to become an esthetician. Um, that's another field that I have been interested in. Um, I've just never really done it or really looked into like the programs. Um, so I think I'm going to start doing my research just in case, but we'll see. We'll see where life takes me. I'm going to take this color mogul. It's a little bit more on the yellow side. in the inner corners, which doesn't come out. There we go. I'm going to use the Milani Silky Matte. As you can see, it's my ride or die um, bronzer. I'm going to go in with Max Blush Baby. I don't know if you can hear my son. He's taking a shower and the bathroom's right here. And I can hear him singing. Do any of your kids do that? My kid's seven. And he's very shy, but when he's in the shower, he likes to sing. Or when he's in the bathroom washing his hands. We're going to go in with Becca's Champagne Pop. It 
Sounds like he's singing Christmas music. <laughs> Going in with the lip liner um, Spiffy from Morphe and we're going to use Yo No Se from Hank and Henry. Um, another update that I had was, I don't know if you've noticed, um, probably not because I haven't been on social media a lot and also it is very subtle, but I did get some filler on my top lip. I only got very, very little. I didn't do a whole thing because I didn't want to have the super big lips. I was just unhappy with the size of my lip because my bottom one tends to be a little more fuller than my top one. Um, so I just kind of wanted to give more definition to my top one as you've known in my past videos. Um, that lip lipstick was a little hard for me. This side always came out funky. Um, my face is not even. Um, I have one side that's higher than the other. And although that was not something that the plastic surgeon could correct, um, he did give me more definition to my top lip. So if you are interested in a video on that as well, on like the process of everything with the filler um, and the costs and all that stuff and what I used, um, I can make one of those too. Just go ahead and leave it down below. Um, comment something down below and um, I'll go ahead and do a video on that. But it definitely makes the application a lot easier. And this is the side that I still have to correct um, and get it to even out on this side because this side of my lip tends to be more curved. This side is just more like at an angle. And if I follow my natural line, then it just looks crazy. I don't know why I thought this color was going to be more of a brown. It ended up being more of a mauve. All right, you guys, thank you so much for getting ready with me. I'm sorry, it was just a really quick, simple video. Um, unfortunately, I do have to go run some errands right now. Um, so we're kind of on a time crunch and I just wanted to get a video out there for you and kind of explain to you why I've kind of been MIA. Um, I know I don't have very many followers, um, but I do appreciate um, those that are do following me and um, I think of you guys when I want to post content um, because again I really do appreciate you guys that do watch my videos um, and I enjoy making them so I think it's a win-win um, and if you want me to post any videos of the things that I spoke about in my video today I would be more than happy to um, like I said I'm starting this curly hair method thing um, I tend to have normally wavy hair, not curly hair, um, and my hair does need a lot of TLC. So I'm starting a new journey on my hair. So far this is day one, and this is what I've managed to get out of my hair um, today. So it's not too bad starting out. Um, so if you're interested um, in seeing a video like that, let me know. Um, if you have wavy hair that's dry and like limpy and half straight, half wavy, you can't tame it, um, let me know. Or if you're a curly haired girl and your um, curls have just gone limp and crusty, um, maybe you would like to see more videos on hair care. And I would be more than happy to share my journey with you, um, see my fails, see what works, um, and go from there. Also, if you're interested in seeing a video on lip filler, I'll be more than happy to create one for you. Um, like I said, I did go very subtle. A lot of people don't really notice, um, especially people close to me. Uh, recently, I went and saw one of my friends and she didn't even notice, so that was pretty awesome. Um, but if you look closely at my pictures 
from before and now you can see a slight little pop on my lip which is really flattering and nice I think anyways um, and I didn't go super crazy um, on my lips and I'm happy with what I, I got so if you want to see a video on that um, let me know um, and hopefully I can get back on track on this uh, uploading thing for video content for you guys um, and again I apologize for being MIA hope you guys have a wonderful weekend I will see you on my next one bye